give you the legal edge. After a long winter, motorcycles are back on the roads, highways and streets here in mid Michigan, and that means drivers need to once again be on the lookout. And for bike riders, there are three big things you need to know before you can legally ride. Attorney Brian Waldman explains. To legally ride a motorcycle in Michigan, you essentially need to make sure that three things are accomplished. You have to have a valid driver's license. You have to have a motorcycle endorsement on that driver's license, and you have to have the requisite motorcycle insurance. The valid driver's license, it is what it is. Your driver's license has to be valid. The motorcycle endorsement, how do you get a motorcycle endorsement? Well, if you're 18 years or older, you get the motorcycle endorsement by successfully passing a test. And the test is, is both a written test and a driving test to show that, that you're proficient in riding a motorcycle. And, and if you pass the test, you get your endorsement. Now, if you're under 18, which if you have a driver's license means you're either 16 or 17, you, you get your endorsement or to get your endorsement, you have to successfully go through or take a course on motorcycle safety. And that course is offered both by public and private entities. I believe a number of Harley Davidson dealerships offer the course. I think it's about a 15 hour course and you successfully complete the class, you get your motorcycle endorsement. Now the last requirement, you have to have the requisite motorcycle insurance. Everyone in Michigan or most people in Michigan know that on their automobiles, they have to have Michigan's no fault automobile insurance. Well, it surprises people to learn a motorcycle is not considered a motor vehicle in Michigan, and it's only motor vehicles that require no-fault automobile insurance. So it's not no-fault automobile insurance that you buy in the motorcycle. It's, it's basic what's called PLPD coverage. It doesn't mean that if you're on a motorcycle, you're not entitled to no-fault benefits if somehow you get injured. If there's involvement of a motor vehicle, you're still entitled to no-fault benefits to pay your medical expenses, potentially any wage loss. And so what that means is if you're riding your motorcycle down the street and you lay it down because there's gravel on the road and you're injured, you're not going to be entitled to any no-fault insurance benefits or coverage. But if you're involved in a crash with a motor vehicle, an automobile or a truck, or even if you, you know, it's a near miss and you leave the road to avoid the collision, there's involvement of a motor vehicle and that creates an injury, you're entitled to no-fault benefits.